All right, so <clears throat> I built the twin hammers and uh, hadn't even run it on video yet. I just realized that. But uh, anyway, I uh, went to Castle Link and I set this up so um, we could uh, watch this thing, uh, see if it can crawl. Uh, we're going to start with the teeter-totter, which is uh, the most challenging part of the course right now. So uh, what I did is I, I put a two-cell battery in. And I tried to adjust the throttle, so I had to pull quite a bit in order for it to move. Um, so let's see what happens. Now with the brushless motor, it's going to be kind of a challenge because, as you can see, it wants to spin. And on the teeter-totter, throttle control, wheel spin is crucial. See? Uh, so, let's cheat. I'll reposition. See how many times I have to cheat, okay? We may have to skip this all together and go around to the rest of it. Ah, see? Too much wheel spin. Well, the tires are a little wet too, but. All right, we're going to skip the teeter-totter. Let's go on um, to this ramp. Surely I should put some rocks or something down here. Okay. This isn't going to uh, interfere with the teeter-totter's operation normally because as this comes down, actually comes down onto this half pallet, as you can see. All right, so we're just... Uh, Help whatever truck out with that approach angle right here. And uh, since we have a, a wide area, um, even if it does spin and goes to the side, hopefully it can compensate. All right, here we go. Oh, now ground clearance here is a problem. And hook up. <laughs> All right, let's try it one more time. Oh, a little speed. And down it goes. All right, let's try it again. There we go. I would say it probably can crawl, but <clears throat> the amount of practice you would need to make that happen would be pretty much a lot. Now, a brushless motor would work better for this truck in this situation, only because of the ability to control the throttle. But as, as you can see, it went over that pretty well. So here we're onto the sticks. Oh, I almost drove off myself without any help from the truck. All right. That's a nice shot. Uh oh, what do I do now? I lost the link. What'd I do? Something broke. All right, hold on. 
Well, hopefully I just got some crap up in the steering linkage. It's going to be hard to finish without steering, isn't it? One thing I've, <coughs> I know I haven't filmed anything on this truck before, but I have had problems with my steering. So I may have to do something about that. Right. I can't steer. Okay, so anyway, I got the, the servo horn off and it looks like I may have stripped that out or I had forgotten to tighten the screw down, All right? So <clears throat> I'm gonna, at any rate, I'm gonna change out the... So the one I have is your standard one right here to replace it with. And this is the one that came off. This one came out of a, I forget what. It is something extremely cheap. But you can, if you can, camera can pick up on it. The teeth in the, this short one right here are stripped out a little bit. And the teeth on this one. Try to get some good light. Are uh, a lot better. So... We're going to put that in and see what happens, okay? Okay, so I got the new servo horn in. Uh, everything's nice and tight. I didn't go through the step-by-step -step with you all because, well, there's quite a bit to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the side panels and the hood off just uh, in case there's another issue. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to get to. So uh, I'll just throw the wheels on. Let's give it a try again. All right, so let's try this again. There's too much hop. Sure does better when you can steer, huh? One more drag brake would be good.
So I'll just let it idle on down. Just enough drag brake at this angle of a controlled descent. All right. So the rear end has enough flex to keep the front basically planted, good traction. Watch it make a liar of it. Okay, so we're going to come up on the log, which will require staying really up close to this wall right here, right here, otherwise it won't make it up. the brick. I know, that's cheating. But... <laughs> so like, here's what I mean about having to get on this just right. I almost should cut just a little bit right out of here. That'd make it a little bit easier, but in this case... We're gonna see if we can get her. Ah. Almost, almost. Okay, so uh, adding onto this crawling park has just been done, so I'm gonna have to do some tweaking. So I cheated again and I moved this brick right here because there was a hole that wheel fell in and it likes to kick it off of the log. So let's see. Look at that. I think what's gonna get me right now is ground clearance. Ah, yep. Since I don't have the ground clearance a lot of the other trucks do, right here, 
to be a problem. Alright. So, let's go and take this brick. It's not doing anything. We'll put it right there. I think I got another one. This is all rotten inside. Let me stick down in here. Let's try that. Start from that position. There we go. Because even one of my longer wheel wheelbase crawlers would have a problem with that. So This log, especially when it's wet, is one of my biggest challenges for any of the trucks. Because it's so darn slippery. And with this being a brushless that's not censored, well, the motor is censored, but uh, the ESC is not. Uh, throttle control, that's everything. Uh, wheel speed doesn't solve everything, but throttle control uh, does. See how I'm trying to. If this log was wet right now, I'd probably be already off. All right. That and I think it's really going to take a lot of practice. I probably could do a lot better, but it's going to take a lot of practice with the, the trigger on this. 